Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson, we are studying subtraction and regrouping in subtraction with zero tens. That can be a little tricky, so pay close attention if you haven't done this before. Now, let's say we have 400 and 2. We need to subtract 128. So how do we do that? If you look at this model here, these pictures, I cannot subtract 8. There's not enough. I cannot subtract 20 because I don't have any tens. So what do I do? What can I do? The only thing I can do is to take one of these hundreds and break it down into, first of all, 10 tens. Okay? So this hundred needs to be broken down, so to speak, into 10 tens. All right, looking better, but I still cannot subtract eight ones, okay? I don't have eight little dots here. So now I need to take one of these tens and break it into ten ones. There. Now I'm ready to subtract, okay? I would subtract 100. I mean, when you're doing it over here, you start subtracting eight ones in that order, okay? and then two tens, and then 100, okay? And now we can see the answer would be 274. Now let's do it using this, okay? The same problem. I cannot subtract 2 minus 8. Normally I would take a 10 from here, but there are none. So I need to go over here to the hundreds and take one of those hundreds, Okay, so that leaves here 300, right? And that 100 moves here to the tens column. And then I take one ten from it, leaving 90 here, and move the 10 here, right? And the 10 and 2 together make 12. So there was a lot happening, right? Now I can subtract 12 minus 8. 90 minus 20, and 300 minus 100. So the answer is 274. But let's do all of this again with this next problem. This time I have 500. I need to subtract 394. There are no tens, no ones. So I will take 100 and break it into 10 tens. Let me also show you how we do it over here. I take a hundred, okay, leaving four hundred, and then this hundred, it is ten tens, it goes into the tens column. Then the next step is I take one of the tens and break it down into ten ones. And what happens here is I take a ten, so it leaves ninety here, and then 10 here. This time I did not have any 1s to begin with, so I just have now those 10 that I got from breaking down the 10. Now, ready to subtract. 10 minus 4 would be 6. 90 minus 90 would be 0. And then 400 minus 300, 100. Okay? And of course you can cross out those things in the picture too. Four of those, all of these, and then three of these. You might want to practice using this kind of model for the subtraction. But now I'm going to show you how we usually do it, okay? When we have the numbers written under each other and what happens with the regrouping. We basically need to regroup twice. We start with the hundreds, you know. 100 into the tens, and then one of those tens into the ones. Okay? Matthew, come help me. And um, maybe you can cross out those things. We cannot subtract 2 minus 6 is our starting point, and there are no tens, zero tens. So we need to go regroup, starting with the hundreds. Take one of the hundreds, okay? Take one of the hundreds that leaves 600. And then 100 moves here, but it becomes 10 tens. We write 10 here, 
because 100 is 10 tens, okay? In the tens column, 10 tens. Over here, I wrote 100 for clarification. But when we're doing it the normal way, the usual way, we write 10 here because 100 is 10 tens. Okay, and then we need to take one of the tens. So that leaves 9 tens here. And over here, the 10 moves here. So we get 12, right? Because there's two ones already. Now we're ready to subtract. So now comes the easy part. The ones, we get 6. Over here we get 5. And over here we get 5. Again. 0 minus 5. I cannot do that, so I need to regroup, but there are no tens. So therefore I'll go straight to the hundreds and I regroup one of the hundreds. And basically this will be gone, this will be gone, this will be gone if you want to cross those all out. I will have seven hundreds left and I will get ten tens in the tens column. Because one hundred is ten tens and this is tens column. Then, however, I need to immediately take one of the tens, leaving nine tens, and move that as ten ones into the ones column. Now I'm ready to subtract. Ten minus five, nine minus five, and seven minus two. Let's also check this result. Did I get it right? I have just a little, little bit of space here. I would add this and this, okay? Five, four, five, and two, five, five. Add them. Okay, we get 10, we get 10, and 8. 800, 800. So it checks. And uh, if this is a little difficult, don't worry, you just need to practice it. Okay?